The Boeing 737-900ER airplane is approximately 139 feet from the nose to the tail. It is more than 41 feet to the top of the vertical stabilizer and it has a wingspan of more than 117 feet. The minimum width to turn the airplane is approximately 85 feet or 26 meters. The weight limits for the 737 are different for each airline. There are limits for the maximum zero fuel weight, the maximum taxi weight, the maximum takeoff weight, and the maximum landing weight. The 737 has CFM 56-7 gas turbine engines. The engines have a high bypass ratio and full authority digital electronic engine control or EEC for best operation. The engines can be set to supply up to 27,000 pounds of thrust. Each engine has a 90 kVA generator. The generators power different buses and are not used in parallel operation. The engine fan diameter is 61 inches. The engine nacelle has a flat bottom to give sufficient ground clearance. The 737 can fly short to medium range flights. The maximum altitude is 41,000 feet. and the maximum operating speed is 0.82 Mach. The 737 flight controls, normally operated by the hydraulic systems, control pitch, roll, and yaw. The trailing edge flaps the leading edge flaps and the leading edge slats normally use the hydraulic systems to operate. Manual operation called manual reversion is available for pitch control and roll control. There are four cabin entry doors, two on each side of the fuselage. There are four overwing and two mid-door emergency exits. All cabin entry doors are emergency exits also. There are two cargo doors one forward and one aft. There are special coatings on the pilot's windshields to help repel rain. An APU in the tail supplies electrical power on the ground and in flight at all altitudes. The APU also supplies bleed air on the ground at up to 17,000 feet. Electrical power plus bleed air is available up to 10,000 feet. The fuel system has three tanks. one center tank, and two main wing tanks. The total fuel capacity is more than 46,000 pounds, or 20,500 kilograms.
The 737 has three landing gear with two wheels on each gear. There are anti-skid brakes on the main landing gear. The nose gear can be steered with the nose wheel steering wheel or with the rudder pedals. The 737 passenger cabin can be configured to meet the needs of each airline. A maximum of 213 passengers can be accommodated in an all-tourist configuration. Vacuum lavatories can be installed in different cabin locations. The vacuum lavatory system can be serviced from one location. Galleys can also be put in different cabin locations. The emergency equipment is kept in cabin storage locations. Each passenger and mid-door has an emergency slide. As with other jet transports, the cockpit has the overhead panels, the glare shield, the instrument panels, the center instrument panel, the forward electronic panel, the control stand, and the aft electronic panel. There are six flat panel liquid crystal displays, or LCDs, to show flight and engine data. The Electronic Flight Instrument System, or EFIS, can show the primary flight instruments and navigation data in two optional formats. The 737-900ER EFIS map format shows flight and navigation information in almost the same way as the 737-300. The primary flight display navigation display, or PFD-ND format, is like the Boeing 747-400 and 777 flight displays. The upper display shows engine indications and systems information. An optional configuration divides engine information between the upper and lower displays. The radio communication system includes very high frequency radios. There can also be high frequency radios. The radio communication system can also include a data link system to send and receive data link messages. The flight data recorder system records data for the most recent 25 hours of operation.